Our team coverage continues. The Charleston County Sheriff speaking today for the first time since that video was released. News News Riley Benson was there, joins us live from the Charleston County Courthouse. And Riley, the Sheriff says her goal is to be completely transparent. Brennan, one of the most talked about points of change for Sheriff Kristen Graziano when she was campaigning for the job was transparency. Now, some of those who supported her campaign are saying she hasn't lived up to the promise following the death of Jamal Sutherland. Our responsibility is the safety of, of Jamal Sutherland, and he died in our facility, so we need to examine that. Calls for answers, accountability, transparency, and responsibility. I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. I'll take responsibility for what we can take responsibility for. Just three hours into Sheriff Kristen Graziano's first day on the job, Jamal Sutherland died in the detention center, and now some of her supporters say they're losing faith. I don't have no faith in the sheriff we have now. And by the way, I supported her. That's horrendous. What job can you kill somebody and come back to work? Deputies were ordered to extract Sutherland from his cell for a bond hearing. Since that day, I have changed that policy and no longer allow forced bond hearings. Mental health is an issue hot on the sheriff's radar, especially with many in the county's jail struggling. We have 750 people in there and we have one, one mental health professional. It is just not enough, and we need more. With all the calls for change, Sheriff Graziano says her agency can't do it alone. We're developing policies and procedures for mental health. We're working on that, but we need help. We need professionals' input. We don't have all the answers. Answers yet to be uncovered and questions still to be answered. I'm asking you to trust the process. Trust the process that we have in place. Uh, understand that we are making changes as we, as we can and as we see fit. Now, just about an hour ago, we heard back from the Charleston County Sheriff's Office saying Sheriff Graziano has no response to the calls for her resignation because she says she hasn't yet heard those calls. For now, reporting live in downtown Charleston, Raleigh Benson, Count on Two.